Currently, the ray tracings in Wuthering Waves are only available for RTX 40 series graphics card or above. And most of us mid end gamers actually don't have 40 series GPU. Therefore, I come up with the solution where everyone can enjoy the ray tracings graphics in their Wuthering Wave. Before we proceed forward, warning all the processes we will go through in this video do not support or apply mods or hacking into the game that might violate the terms and policies of Kuro game. The only thing we are doing here is activating ray tracing from outside of the game which is already in the game files and applying ray tracing in your game will dramatically increase your GPU usage. Therefore, keep watch on your GPU's health. And no need to worry, this process is actually reversible, so if you encounter any type of issues, you can reverse to fix all the settings. Therefore, listen and watch this video carefully until the end so that you don't mess up and later blame me for that. To start with the process, make sure your wither wave is closed properly, or else it might make some trouble. Now, from the launcher, click on the settings and copy your game directory and close the launcher. Now, in the window search, type notepad and run it as administrator. Then click on the files on the top left corner. Then click on open. On the top over here, paste the directory and enter. Now, go to the client folder, then saved, config, windows no editor. It will show up empty, therefore set this to all files. Click on engine configuration file and open it. Now scroll all the way to the bottom and take space, paste these ray tracing settings text from the description of this video. Now save and close the notepad. Next download this software called DB Browser SQLit from the link in the description and install it. Again copy the directory from the launcher, open the DB Browser with run as administrator. Click on Open Database, paste the directory on the top, go to Client, Save, Local Storage. Click on the first one and open it. Now click on Browse Data and in the filter section type Ray. And here set the ray tracing to 3, ray trace reflection 1, ray trace GI 1, and lastly ray trace shadow to 1. Now click on the Right Changes on the top and close the DB browser. Now again open the launcher, go to the settings, click on browse files and from the folder right click on witheringwave.exe then click on show more option and then send to desktop. Now go to the desktop, right click on the shortcut and click on properties and add RTX at the end of the target location and make sure to put a space between them. And if your GPU is not RTX then you don't have to do this step. Now close the properties window and open your game directly from the desktop. Know that your game should run with compiling shader on the loading screen. It will only happen one time after applying the ray tracing. And by chance if you don't see the compiling shader on your loading screen then restart your game. After the compiling shader, try login to your game. Congratulations, you have successfully activated ray tracing in your Wuthering Wave. Now check around the water plays and other details onto the buildings and things. You see the ray tracing actually activated and your graphics look way different than before. Not only that, you will see your GPU is actually cooking a lot of graphics. The usage is way lot than before. Well, if you face too much lag in your game or your game keep crashing over and over again, then you can turn the ray tracing off by deleting the pasted text from the engine.com INI file and set all the ray tracing settings to zero in the DB browser. Oh, if you have missed my previous video to make your game look more lively and clear, then check out for this video on your screen right now. That video is actually special for NVIDIA users, so try out those settings. Oh, if you have any other issues with your game, then make sure to join my Discord server or comment down below in this video so that I can personally assist you or make a video on that topic. Anyway, this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Also, make sure to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. By this time, take care, I love you all and hopefully see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.